I was actually thinking the cold open might be us finally showing off our caps. Um. Hi, <laughs> Debbie. Oh, that's a good chirp. Can Can I get one more? <laughs> and there, and it, there is. it is. Welcome back to Nature League. Um, so I had something fun come up in my uh, message chats uh, the other day, and it was from my friend Adrian. And basically, uh, Adrian, who is so nice uh, to join us here virtually on Zoom, um, is going to ask me the question he messaged me because I yelled at him instead of answering his question and said, save it, let's record it. Um, because that's our relationship. And he's a very good sport. And so we are gonna call this um, from A to B to Zoom, or from A to Zoom, A to Z. I'm thinking it would be from A to B to Z, but the Z is, stands for Zoom. That's the whole title. So Adrian, what do you have for me today? So I used to joke, you know, uh, why didn't Noah just smack those two mosquitoes? <laughs> but then, like, I was thinking about it the other day, and, like, no, seriously, though, if there were just no mosquitoes, legitimately, would would ecosystems not be able to handle mosquitoes not being there? I first would like to know, because it's interesting to me, um, to get an insight into whatever happens inside your head. Uh, what kind of led you to thinking about mosquitoes? So I think I was thinking about like all the ways that like, was it like the niche, like the niche that niche, 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 niche. All of, all of these are approved. Go okay. On. Uh, that animals kind of fill and then i thought about it and i was like well like mosquitoes all they're good at doing is like killing people seriously what eats mosquito like what thrives on mosquitoes that you know wouldn't be able to very easily find another food source so i was thinking like frogs no frogs would eat anything mosquitoes don't take up a large part of their diet the mosquitoes take up a large part of anything's diet i don't know i don't think so and then you got to the level of panic that usually induces a text message to me. Yes, and it's usually when I'm here. <laughs> Brit, why are mosquitoes? I don't get it. That's the level I would be at. Right, normally. right, right, that, that level. <laughs> Yeah, I think I think it's interesting um, that you said mosquitoes are really good at killing people because- Totally. Mosquitoes are not what actually kills the person, right? The person does not die from having a tiny piece of the mosquito go into them, right? So like, and this is, this is all relevant. The thing that actually is, is killing people um, globally uh, related to mosquitoes is what they're passing on. So mosquitoes are what we call vectors. Vectors are things that transmit disease, but themselves do not get sick. So like you never are going to see a, um, a mosquito sick with malaria, right? <laughs> like you're huh. never going to see a mosquito running a fever and being like, I have malaria because they are a vector for these things. And so they are basically just part of the, the pathway of human disease. And so I would first clarify that it's not that mosquitoes are are actively killing they are a piece of transport for something that does kill people and a lot of people so are you telling me that if we had murder mosquitoes like like these hornets that are supposedly coming any time in june uh, <laughs> right there it's half past a freckle <laughs> um so do you think we would we would count these as like mosquito deaths if it just so happened that those mosquitoes were ginormous. There's different ways that we classify conflict. And so direct a like attack, so like a shark attack or a um, bear attack, something that is physically killing or, or hurting um, is classified differently than uh, disease and, and a vector. And so when you wanna think about global conflict between humans and other species, 
um, these kind of fall into different little lanes. So if a mosquito was able to, let's say, decapitate you with its, you know, um, face, uh, like proboscis, right? If it I was about to say, do you not know what that thing is called? Do you know not what? <laughs> but you did. Okay. We're just gonna going to put it at the bottom of the screen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so if they were actively decapitating humans with that appendage, with the proboscis, then like, we probably call that a mosquito attack instead of someone dying from malaria. That's okay. That's fair. Why do you ha now have a lip piercing? I'm sorry. I, I'll take it out. Here, Why let me try it again. Why can't we do anything normally? I'm so sorry. So an interesting thing that I think a lot of people don't know about mosquitoes is, <laughs> let's get to it by a little Q&A. Hey, Adrian, how many species of mosquitoes do you think exist on Earth right now? Oh, uh, I've never, ever thought about that. Um, like, I don't know. I don't know. Gosh, I just don't know. I have no idea. Now that you've posed the question, that's literally never a question I've ever heard before. Nobody has ever asked me, how many species of mosquito do you think exist on the planet? That's a weird question. You know, you don't hear people say, hey, how many, how many species of fly do you think exist? Um, speak for I yourself. I majored in these questions. Oh. <laughs> Well, I didn't major in nerd. Good one. Brought to you by Coca-Cola. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to say like let around a dozen maybe. The blanket statement here is that the way we define species is definitely ever changing. So this isn't some perfect, you know, here we are. Uh -huh. But in terms of the current understanding and the current way that we define these lines, there are between like three and 4,000 species of oh, mosquitoes. Gross. <laughs> Gross. It is. And I hate it. <laughs> okay, well, let's follow up. How many of those species do you think actually are good at being vectors for human disease? I don't know, like a thousand? Like only a few hundred. And oh. Yeah, and if you want to, and if you want to talk about malaria specifically, which is probably the the most known, uh -huh, if you were asking totally. someone what a mosquito transmits, um, you know, we're talking between like seventy and eighty species. So okay. I think that that's a really good place to start when we want to just lump mosquitoes. Get out of here. Uh, okay, okay, but I'm gonna I'm gonna fight on this one. That was you not my always question. Do. That was not my question. My question was, could mosquitoes disappear from mm -hmm. every e ecosystem mm -hmm. across mm -hmm. the planet? Mm -hmm. And would it permanently damage those ecosystems? Like, would it throw them completely out of whack? I would argue that no ecosystem can ever be thrown out of whack because there is no whack. This ecosystems oh. are things that ecosystems are things that evolve just like any other ecosystems. life on Earth ecosystems just are yeah regardless and, of what's happening in them they just are yes and there's different levels that you can categorize them you know one might be more efficient at nutrient transport one might have more species but there isn't this set like here i am balance and this is actually quite a big um fallacy uh, uh within the way that we talk about nature. Um, we talk about things being pushed out of balance, but really these are systems that are constantly changing um, and adapting and, and evolving, right, uh, on a system level. Now, a better way maybe to think about it is what kind of an impact might we see if this group of thousands of species were just gone? Yes, yes, that's, that's ultimately my question. Like, uh, what, I, what I think I really want to do here is I want to look at the ecosystem that you think would uh, come from the disappearance of the mosquitoes, mm -hmm. and then I would decide whether or not I could live with that. <laughs> <laughs> um, because there are so many species, and because only a fraction actually affect humans um, intensely, guess where the amount of research, the highest amount of research uh, is put in terms of understanding the role that mosquitoes play in ecosystems? Probably in the ones that are vectors. Yeah. Hey, look at you using vocab. 
hey, I'm a good student, okay? I may not be smart, but I'm not dumb. Thank you. So, so, so yeah, it's, it's kind of a question mark because the whole thing is that there are so many processes we have n no idea about. Keep in mind, these thousands of species uh, inhabit almost every place on earth. We're talking down below ground in caves. We're talking up in the Arctic Circle. I've seen pictures and videos of the caribou just blanketed in mosquitoes. Yeah. Yet another uh, species that would benefit from dead mosquitoes. Sure. What do mosquitoes pitch to the ecosystem? Mm -hmm. So they, because they live in so many places, they wind up being food for a lot of different species. They also um, play a role in some things you might not think about commonly, like pollination. So mosquitoes have different life stages. And so when you have the larvae, so like baby mosquitoes are going to have a totally different functional role, or we would oh. say niche or niche, right, than an adult mosquito. The mosquito larvae are typically like in water. And so yeah. they're more aquatic. So what they do is they're they're kind of eating things, they're taking things in, which then makes them kind of perfect snacks for other yeah. things that live there. Um, and huh. right, and so that would be for other fish or for other things that are living uh, for other the water. small baby fish, like a, or like a frog, like a little baby tadpole. God, so they're mm. okay, mm -hmm. so okay, right? so there's that, but there's also then once you get to the adult phase, then we're talking about food for things like birds and bats, or even we talk about spiders, you know. But then what do they eat? This is where it's kind of neat um, to think about uh, pollination. Only females um, actually get blood meals. So they wind up, um, they wind up feeding from blood because they need that protein and that energy basically to be able to lay eggs. Okay. So what do the males eat? Um, self-loathing. Uh, can relate to that. <laughs> <laughs> Their own egos. I don't know. I can relate to that. <laughs> we could go all day. <laughs> Ayo. <laughs> you were supposed to say, I can relate to that. I can relate to that. <laughs> They're energy mosquitoes. They just walk into a room and slowly feed off the energy in there. That's it. They just like suck a party down. Yep. The black hole in the room. Oh God, it's Greg. It's a male mosquito. Everybody, everybody just go home. Everybody out. Hey guys. <laughs> everybody anybody been out. watching the Dow Jones today? It's up three points. Wowza. <laughs> How's everyone's 401ks doing? Retire tomorrow, am I right? <laughs> There's a really interesting um, example of these in North America. There's apparently a single, uh, the single plant, a, a purple pitcher plant, um, okay. where there's a single species of mosquito that like only lives with these purple pitcher plants and what they wind up doing is they wind up being like a top predator in that tiny little system so that's only one example and it's only because we happen to have some research into this one species that doesn't kill people you know spread disease so who knows uh, i guess is what i'm saying so you know is anything going to immediately crash well you know certainly things with any quick change life on earth not great with quick change i mean things take time but even then even for like that one pitcher plant um it is totally possible that some individuals of that plant species have a certain mutation where they don't rely on or they don't partner up with you know for whatever reason and if they're uh -huh. the only ones left alive they're the ones reproducing and then hey there we go we have some natural selection mm. so it would really be hard to say for any life on earth that removing a single group, the, so some groups are bigger than others, but like, let's say a single species, like it'd be really hard to say that that would just crash and it would be done like game over because change will happen. Life will still keep um, evolving and changing. Uh, it might uh, look, uh, life, uh, uh, life uh, uh, finds, a, finds way. a way. There it is. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. And you know, what does it look like on the other side is I, I think the, the bigger question. And so um, there are of course so many other larvae, there's so many other insects, there's so many other things that um, can be food for other things. Uh, things will fill those spaces over time, but I would, I would caution that there's so much we don't know about 
mosquito species, thousands of them that have nothing to do with human health. Uh, and there might be so many stories out there of, of those pitcher plants, of those interesting relationships that, you know, could be totally affected. I will also say, remember that life on earth can also serve as an inspiration for technology and for innovation and for medicine and other parts of human health and well-being. And there's actually been design, so biomimicry, so like mimicking this, this design that we see in the mosquito to make needles that are less painful. So think oh. about, so think about diabetics or people that, um, for whatever reason, need to constantly, uh, get some of their own blood. Um, sure. that is actually a current open field of innovation and research as far as mimicking that design. There's mm -hmm. also some special proteins and molecules in mosquito saliva that works as an anticoagulant. It just so happens that um, anti-clotting drugs that we use for humans could actually be based on some of the proteins we find in mosquito saliva. Gross. Gross. I'll remember that when your life depends on an anti-clotting drug, I will run into the hospital room and say, wait. With as many hamburgers as I eat <laughs> on a regular basis, I will eventually need my blood to be thinned. I can tell. <laughs> do keep in mind the spread of a lot of these species that do act as vectors um, and cause human health issues uh, were moved around the earth because of humans. Um, um, so. Oh, I didn't. I didn't know that. I was trying to think of a witty come come back or comment, and I I didn't know that. Well, yeah. So think about think about um ships. So I'm talking about um. I mean, going back centuries, some species have eggs that actually can stay for quite a while without drying out. Gross. When, thank you. I know. Yeah. Anti clotting, Adrian. Be polite. Ugh. Be polite. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So much of the spread of mosquitoes at least between continents, was because of people. Ah, uh, I hate that. I also just don't like thinking about mosquito eggs in general. Just those two words next to each other kind of gross me out a little bit. Uh, so, yeah. um, so there's a little bit for you, a little bit of understanding that just saying mosquitoes is actually way more... Um, detailed than you might think. Also the idea of their worth or value, or I like to, I'd rather say just their function within systems um, mm -hmm. can be on many different levels, uh, including that of inspiration and, and technological innovation for our species and human health. And the fact that, you know, they like anything else alive have intrinsic value. And so that's up to each individual person as far as what is worth what. And there's no answer that I or you or anyone can give for someone else for that kind of a thing. No, I feel like I can speak for most of our viewers right now when I say mosquitoes are awful. If you get rid of mosquitoes, there will be blood in your body. <laughs> hey, Adrian, thank you for joining me, even though we have to be... Um, doing it through Zoom, physically distanced. I still love the idea that we can have some conversations and think about life on Earth while we reflect on our own species. Thank you, Britt. This was great. Yeah. Yeah. Life on Earth, it's... Yeah, but hey, we've got each other. We've, uh, we've got uh, wonderful people who join in this community um, thinking about it, talking about it. And, uh, you know, if you like... Um, learning more about all these incredible things that we share this planet with certainly check back here yes who knows the next time in person but until then we know we have a to b to zoom a to b to z yep yeah stay safe take care of yourself and one another and you know until next time bye 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 look at that boy look at that look at that damn it <laughs> <laughs> the mirror is <laughs> It sucks. Thing. It's so uh, bad. Hey, I don't think they got to see my shirt. Look at that. Look at that paddle pose. That's yeah. a real good shirt.